Hello, I am Squid of Love. Welcome back, Alpha 2.4 for Star Citizen is live and it brings some very interesting and very important features to the game, such as persistence, Alpha UEC, the new currency that we can earn by completing missions in general, playing in the mini persistent universe, shopping, but that's not all. We also get a brand new weapon, a new type of weapon that we didn't have before the Pyroburst Plasma Scattergun. Let's go ahead and take a look, let's take a quick look at this new weapon, it is a size 3 weapon, so let's equip two of these on our Hornet and uh, see how good they are, if they are worth the investment, if they are worth buying them or rent them with wreck. They do look good though, they do look very nice, let's add a second one and uh, take them out there with our Hornet, try them, see how effective they are. Unfortunately, now that we don't have the whole tab, it is impossible to see stats for these weapons. We don't know what kind of uh, damage per best they have, the, their DPS, their range. Uh, we will have to use them and find out the hard way. All we know from the description of this weapon is that it is especially effective in close quarters and that it fires 8 proximity detonating plasma rounds per shot. That's all the information we have. We have equipped two of them. They are size 3. Let's take them out there. Let's try them in a Vandul's arm and see how we can use them effectively. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at these new weapons. If we fire we can see that it uses energy projectiles, so that means that it won't really need to be replenished, it's ammunition. This is especially good, since we have the Alpha UEC now and we need to buy ammunition whenever we need to restock our ammunition. The problem is that it is a fixed weapon. Wow, that was a nice kill. If you manage to hit your target, the damage is quite devastating, but you will have to be close in order to make sure you won't miss your shots. Yeah, you will have to be quite close actually. And it requires peasants. Nice kills. I do like the weapon, to be honest. It looks quite useful, it looks quite good in a loadout. With other weapons, you will need to have it combined with some uh, lasers or other kinetic weapons in order to maximize your effectiveness. But the damage is definitely very good. And you can kill your targets quite easily. Let's take a look at the rate of fire now. How good it is. Not that it really matters, if you manage to get your targets in front of you and fire with 16, if you have two, like I have, 16 of these projectiles, he is pretty much dead. Let's see. Yeah, the rate of fire is not very good and it does generate a lot of heat. But it seems like a very good weapon, a very nice option for the Persistent Universe now that uh, Alpha UEC are around, so you won't have to waste a lot of money on uh, restocking. It also seems to be a very nice option against bigger targets. It is really a shame that we cannot see the raw stats of this weapon. We know that it is a nice alternative. It could replace the, the neutron guns. It is highly effective. And if we combine it with some energy weapons or other ballistic weapons, we can make a really strong loadout, a very good not only defensive but also offensive loadout, and go against pretty much everything out there, fight against pretty much everyone without any real problem. The damage is indeed incredible. It is a very nice weapon and a great addition to the size 3 weapons we have already. It definitely requires precision, you need to have patience and be close to your target in order to get the most out of it, but this devastating weapon and definitely a very nice option if you are looking to create a nice loadout with size 3 weapons. 
This was a quick look at the Power Burst Plasma Scattergun. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you for joining me. I am Squid of Love, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.